bit of traction left, but there's not a lot. Oh, gosh, this is really bad. <laughs> Alright guys, so now that this tire is successfully chopped in half, I mean, probably could have gone a little bit more, but you get the point, it's gone. I now have to change out the tire, which is an obvious statement, but I have to clean up the inside of the wheel well, and because the burnout was so vicious, it ripped all my wiring down. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I can get the GoPro to focus. Now my tail light will not work. We gotta get that figured out. I gotta get all this rubber off here. There's so much rubber, and I already pulled off a bunch. Let's take the whole back rim off, and then I'm gonna get underneath here and try to clean all that crap off. Uh, I will be getting a motorcycle jack pretty soon, but for now, we just have to keep using the pieces of wood and ingenuity. Now that the motorcycle is up, we're gonna pop off the back rim, and then we're going to take off the tire. If you're looking for a how-to change the Yamaha Bolt tires out, that's not this video. That video will be linked right here, right? right here. That's gonna tell you what you need, how to do it. We have a video for the front tire and we have a video for the rear tire. Maybe I'll touch on a couple things that I didn't touch on in that video if I find it necessary, but for right now, I just need to get this stupid thing off because I may have a little bit of traction left, but there's not a lot. You know, the wonderful thing about doing YouTube videos is that I don't even have to remember what my, uh, what my tools are I needed or the torque specs or anything like that. It's in my previous YouTube video, so I literally just go to my own YouTube video and I know everything I need to know about this. Nice. Are you taking video of this? Yeah. Uh, I'll just mute it. I'm not going to mute it. Oh my gosh, does that mean I'm going to have to stick that thing through like the last time? Uh-huh. Even she's learning about motorcycles. Ding. I popped off the belt. And then um, I just put this back through so the, the caliper would just stay up there. I don't even. We're gonna clean that all up. I need to get all the ripped up tire off of there. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a bath. Probably should have moved it to a better place, but and then we're gonna change out the tire. Pop this guy out. Take all of these out. There we go. Somehow I put this other side back on. Dang it. it smells great. It smells really good. Dawn soap. It's a little bit easier when the tire is chopped in half, not a joke. Oh, you, you knocked this out. Oh, you got it, I got it, what, it's coming up. I'm gonna clean it real quick. This thing was filthy. All right, so the rim is cleaner than it was. It's not as clean as what it probably could be, but I don't frankly care. It's gonna get dirty again. The people who saw my previous tire change video, I got better. I only have one. There's a few, there's a couple, but it's not as bad. Like, it's not as bad. Okay, so, uh, this is the tire we're gonna be using. It is a takeoff of a Harley Davidson, probably a Sportster, I'm just gonna guess, just because of the size. I don't know what anyone else has to say about takeoffs, but I love takeoffs. I think they're cheap, and I go through rear tires often enough. This is a Michelin Scorcher. It's a brand new tire. It still has whiskers on it. Like th this is a brand new tire. Okay, so here is the other tire. This is the front tire. Substantially wider than the current one on there. But this one's brand new. I mean, look at the... It's still got the whiskers on it. It's a brand new tire. Also, I want to thank Junkyard Kenny while I'm doing this. I don't know Junkyard Kenny personally, but I once saw him put a tire on in like 30 seconds. There we go, we're getting somewhere now. Big old boy. Okay, so quick story time. The last time I changed out the back tire on a Yamaha Bolt, it was my old Yamaha Bolt. When I did that, I got so angry that I kicked a punching bag and broke my foot. And I will throw in pictures here yeah, no, legitimately I broke my foot. I kicked a punching bag so hard that I I broke my foot. That's why you saw me riding with a boot on. Very stupid. This time I am determined that I will not break my foot to get this tire on here. Both of my feet work still. Ding! Ooh. There we go, 
there's goes too. I kind of made a mess in my fender and then, uh, oh gosh, this is really bad. <laughs> All of this came off the bottom and there's still more, but I think I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna just give it a wash because I feel like that'll probably take off the majority of it. I found out why my license plate light is no longer working and that is because the wires literally ripped out of it. Anyone out there that's ever done a burnout for any extended period of time understands that the tire is gonna end up everywhere. Behind you, in front of you, you don't even know how it's getting on your back and it's on there. So I think at this point what I've learned is that I'm going to have to probably line the whole inside of the fender with something. Solid piece of maybe plastic or something that'll take maybe not the whole fender covered, but will take the majority of what's gonna land on the fender. But I don't have a tail light anymore, which kind of stinks. So let's get the tire back on here and then let's wash the whole bike again. Woo, okay, all right. So um, I tried putting on the tire and it wasn't working out. Since it's so late, I felt like it was a better idea to, to kind of throw in the towel tonight and then reconvene tomorrow when I have someone to slide the axle through so I can just hold the tire because doing both, kind of hard. So I clean up everything. I will see you tomorrow morning, finish this up, and then we'll go do something else. I'm not really sure what we're gonna do, but all right, see you then. It is multiple days later. Here's the tire on the motorcycle. It is a lot more traction than it had before. The bike is really coming along nicely. And although I did not film the tire being put back on, I did film this. So depending on when you watch this, this next video may already be out, but this, oh man. Brake lever, clutch lever, risers, and bars have all been changed out. I could not be more excited about the results. Honestly, this is the nicest handlebar setup I have ever had on a motorcycle. Today, we're gonna watch two videos. Two links are about to pop up. Click one of them. Just choose one, no big deal. Or just hit the subscribe button. Either one, it's whatever. You know, there's three options. Your finger can hit one of them. You don't have to exit, just, just click them. 